whether we, we are married or engaged to be married, in a relationship, dapat naroon yung importanting bagay which is called harmony. Sa isang relationship ng mag-asawa, lalo na na siyang ating tatalakayin, inilarawan ito ng Bible na yung, yung harmonious relationship should be likened to a precious as the anointing of oil. Yun po ang sinabi sa awit 133 verse 2. So, in your in your married life or in your relationship, are you experiencing such precious harmony na kahit merong hindi pagkakaunawaan at the end of the day, okay kayong dalawa. Magandang araw sa ating lahat. Ito po si Pastor Fred de Guzman ng Squad 244 ng Philippine National Police ng Santa Maria, Bulacan. We welcome everyone sa ating Bible study. Ito po ay programa ng gobyerno sa hanin ng kapulisan na kung tawagin ay My Brother's Keeper. Ito po yung uh, nais ng ating pamala na maipagpatuloy sa buong bansa upang sa gayon lalong mapaiting pa ang paglilingkod ng ating mga magigitang na bantay bayan. Nagagalak po tayo na kapiling ang mga magigiting na lalaki ng bayan ng Squad 244 along with the Philippine National Police ng Santa Maria to welcome everyone. At nais ko pong uh, batiin sa ating kalagitnaan si Patrolman John Lloyd Lazaro. Kasama rin po natin si Police Staff Sergeant Mark Anthony Painor, Police Staff Sergeant Ryan Garcia, Police Staff Sergeant Adio Burgess, Police Master Sergeant Will Ray Guillermo, Police Senior Master Sergeant Joseph Aquino. Ang ating po tatalakayin ay the roles of husband and wife. Tulungan tayo ng Diyos na makaunawa sapagat kung hindi natin maintindihan ang importanteng bahagi sa ating relationship with our wife or husband, lagi merong conflict na hindi masusolvan within the day. Again, yung binanggit natin kanina, oils process from olives or herbs ay ini-apply ito sa ating mga balat for the purpose of healing and some of them are refined as medicine or ginagawang pabango to magandang magandang halimuya of course and most of the time to soothe yung sunburn sa ating mga balat ginagamit na lotion to get rid of dry uh, skin and sometimes to fill the air with magandang halimuya in uh, industries, oil are used to lessen friction sa mga makina. Oil keeps the gear running smoothly. So wag sana maging maglo ang nagaganap sa ating mga tahanan. It has to have some oil na sa ating pagtalakay tutukoy natin oil of grace. And perhaps sa ating pamilya, you feel the tension with your spouse. And uh, most, of, most of the time, you feel hurt. Na you, you won't, you won't uh, expect healing. So if so, kailangan natin ng Panginoon to anoint every aspect of our relationship with the oil of grace. And sa mag-asawa, siyang ating mga kapiling ngayon, grace in a marriage relationship is like an oil in many ways. Yung langis ng biyaya ng Diyos, it reduces uh, friction. It heals hurting feelings. It restores vitality. Oil of grace would help us apologize sa ating kabiyak after making a 
wound or nasaktan natin sila ng salita we massage oil of grace sa ating kabyak when we listen attentively as he or she shares yung damdamin lalo yung mga nasaktang kalooban and oil of grace would offer encouragement pagkakailangan talaga ng ating kabyak so there are variety of applications using the oil of grace sa ating married life limitless and so are the benefits so hangarin nating mga tao lalo na ito mga kristyano na may mga asawa yung oil of grace will be able to be applied sa ating buhay haya natin yung biyaya ng Diyos e kumilo sa atin sa New Testament there are passages wherein ang buhay mag-asawa need to be restored and need some healing and the Bible has few words or many words para sa atin for example the oil of grace will will help us face marital realities yung katotohanan ng pag-asawa ay may mga kinakaharap ng mga pagsubok 1 Corinthians 7 verses 3 to 5 the Bible says ibigay ng lalaki sa asawa ang sa kanya'y nararapat gayon din naman ang babae sa asawa ang babae ay walang kapangyarihan sa kanyang sariling katawan kundi ang asawa gayon din naman ang lalaki ay walang kapangyarihan sa kanyang sariling katawan kundi ang asawa huwag magpigil ang isa't isa maliban kung mapagkasundoan sa ilang panahon upang kayo'y mamalagi sa panalangin at muling kayo'y magsama baka kayo'y tuksin ni satanas dahil sa inyong kawalan ng uh, pagpipigil so let us learn to observe the theme of mutu- mut- uh, mutuality sa, sa pagkakatang ito si Paul the Apostle instructed the husband and the wife na itrato natin ang isa with mutual respect hindi na kailangang i-memorize we must learn to respect each other to think of the dignity ng iyong kabiyak and to love above all ang isa't isa and Paul was encouraging an attitude not just to both sexual needs ng bawat isa but all areas of married life and points to marital reality na kailangan ng mutual respect, love using the oil of grace not only realities in marriage but also responsibilities sa buhay magkasawa Ephesians chapter 5 verse 21 and following si Paul the apostle again gave God's instructions on marriage para malaman ng lalaki at babae ang kalang mga responsibilidad he laid the groundwork so to speak Ephesians 5 21 the Bible says submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God and by the way hindi lang po dapat babae ang marunong sumag- mag-submit both the man and the woman the husband and the wife should learn to submit to God dahil pag natuto ang lalaking mag-submit sa Diyos at ang babae we will be able to play our role effectively Ephesians 5.22 and following mga babae Pasakop kayo sa inyo yung asawa, wika ng Bible, na gaya ng sa Panginoon. Sapagkat ang lalaki, pangulo ng kanyang asawa, gaya din naman ni Kristo na pangulo ng church, na siya rin ang tagapagligtas ng katawan. Tayo bilang kaanib ng katawan ni Kristo, bilang mga Kristiyano, siya ang ating Savior, siya ang ating ulo. Okay? Church here does not refer to any man-made religion. Uwi ka ng talata, datapat kung paano ang iglesia ay nasa sakop ni Kristo, gayon din naman ang mga babae ay pasakop sa kanikanyang asawa sa lahat ng mga bagay. So the relationship between Christ and His Church sets the pattern for a wife's relationship to her husband. Out of a woman's heart of devotion sa tagapagligtas ni si Kristo and her confidence sa Panginoong Diyos. Mula doon sa kanyang pagsabit sa Panginoon, it flows the respect yung devotion niya sa kanyang kabiyak and when the wife learned to do that she fulfills her responsibility sa kanyang kabiyak so respect 
will be to herself so much that she is able to respect her husband without hesitation. Ang ganong pagpapasakop ay posible sapagkat ang Diyos ang nangunguna. So, pag ang ganyan ang naging asa ng babae sa kanyang asawa, the husband will, will be able to cultivate the responsibility he has para sa kanya na makabiyak. So, isang prinsipyo para sa mga kalalakihan, again, Ephesians chapter 5.25 and following, mga lalaki, ibigin nyo ang inyong asawa, gaya naman ni Kristo na umibig sa iglesia. Sa ating mga lalaki na may kabiyak, matuto naman tayong magmahal sa ating asawa tulad ng pagmamahal ni Kristo sa kanyang iglesia, sa church, sa ating mga uh, anak niya. And what is that kind of love? It's a sacrificial love. It's a selfless love. Matutunan natin tulad ni Kristo na ibigay ang, ang ating sarili sa ating kabiyak na tulad ginawa ni Kristo na, na sabi nito ay upang kanyang pakabanalin ito na nililinis sa magitan ng paghugas ng, ng uh, nakalulong ko to ang hangad nga ng Diyos eh matuto yung lalaki na baing mag-asawa na pakabanalin ang isa't isa ang malungkot to may mga asawa tayong alam lalaki na baing mag-asawa sila pa nagiinuman sila pa nagbubugbugan pagkatapos sila pa gumagawa ng kalapas tanganan sa mga anak nila nakikita ng mga anak kung paano sila mabuhay ng may galit sa isa't isa huwag naman po sana mabantad sa kanya ng ating mga anak a husband fulfills his responsibilities in marriage when he loves the Lord so deeply and likes himself so completely that he is able to give himself sa kanyang kabiyak he doesn't say to his wife if you give me what I want If you do what I want, then I will love you. That's wrong. No husband who has experienced the grace of God loves his wife with an equal measure, with if. But we should love our wife unconditionally, sacrificially, just like the one, Christ, who gave up his life for us. So, isinamarize ni Paul yung kanyang iniuutos, of course, mula sa Diyos, sa ating mga may asawa. Lalaki at babae, Ephesians 5.33, gayon may umibig naman ang bawat isa sa inyo sa kanyang kanyang sariling asawa, gayon ang kanyang sarili, at ang babae ay gumalang sa kanyang asawa. So, the more spouses embody the grace of God, the more secure wives feel to respect their husbands the more confident husbands feel to love their wife. So, pag nai-submit natin natin sarili sa Panginoon, we will not be feel threatened na pangunahan ng ating pamilya, magpasakap sa ating kabiyak. We will not be able to abuse that authority because the grace, uh, the oil of grace, rather, is the gear that would make our relationship harmonious and matutunan ng bawat isa yung totoong pagpapasakop. So they will work together. Magkakaisa sila for the common good. So what are the roles in a married life? Ang Diyos, I believe, should be at the center of a married life. Siya ang dapat sentro. He should not be the silent listener. He should be the one Uh, leading us. So since marriage by God's design okay happens from his heart tayo ay ninanais ng Diyos na ang pag-asawa would remain a sacred agreement. Pag si Kristo ang sentro, ang Diyos ang sentro na ating relationship it would be stronger para siyang tali na maraming strand. Whatever trial, whatever uh, testing, you will have triumph at the end. Meron sugatan, meron mang nasaktan, you will be stronger fighting together, not fighting one another. 
you will be in duet, not in a duel. So God has promised that He will never leave us nor forsake us. So a person standing alone can be attacked and can be defeated. But two, the husband and the wife, can stand back to back to conquer and to triumph. Ecclesiastes 4.12 Ang wika ng talata At kung ang isang tao ay manaig laban sa kanya na nag-iisa, ang dalawa ay makalalaban sa kanya at ang panaling tatlong ikid ay hindi napapatid na madali. Two is better than one. How much more? Three. Kasama ng mag-asawa ang Diyos. So the man is the leader in marriage. In, the, in marriage. As such, God designed him to take on the responsibility of the protector and the provider. Lalaki ang dapat ang nagpoprotekta at nagpoprovide. Hindi siya ang pinakakain at pinatatabang baboy. Siya ang nag-aasikaso ng kabuhayan. Siya ang nagpoprovide, nagbabantay, nag-iingat ng kanyang pamilya. Hindi siya ang nananakit. Hindi siya dapat katakutan. Siya ang protector and the provider. He is expected to love his wife, family, of course. He is expected to give himself up for her. And he is expected to love her the way God loves us, His church. Dapat considerate ang lalaki, sensitive sa needs ng kanyang kabiyak, learn to praise her, and not to be harsh. Siya is your better half. She should not be the bitter half. And be thankful sa Diyos for her. Learn to appreciate kung ano man ginagawa niya sa atin. Sa pagsisikap niya. Di man natin makita lahat ng bagay na inananais natin. Learn to appreciate. First Peter 3.7 Likewise ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor to the wife as the weaker vessel, as being heir towards the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. You want your answer, prayer be answered? Leave your wife according to knowledge ng may kaisan. So tayo mga husbands, really get to know your wife, get to know her hurts, her fears, her hidden talents, her deepest joy. Use your strength as a man to honor and to nourish and to cherish your wife. And we summarize the husband's role sa gantong bagay. To provide real masculinity through unselfish, sensitive leadership that strengthens the home and gives dignity to your wife. Ephesians 5.23 and 28 for the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church so pagka natutunan ng lalaki ang gayong bagay para sa kanyang asawa the woman will be able to be the good health mate who is just right for the man and the bible says that God himself makes a wife that is perfectly suited for a man so kung paano idinensya nyo ng Diyos Tayo, husband to honor, to respect the wife, yun din ang gagawin niya sa ating mga asawa nila. So, we would love her, give her what she needs. We would give wholly ourselves to the wife, to our wife, as God intended us to be. So, the role of the wife naman, 1 Peter 3.1, ganyan din naman kayong mga asawang babae, pasakop kayo sa inyong sariling asawa upang ang ilan ay hindi tumatiliman sa salta ay mahikayat na, wal, na wala salta sa pamamagitan ng ugali ng kanikanyang asawang babae. So wife is to model true fem femininity with character traits that are precious to God, impressive sa inyong kabiyak, a true help mate sa inyong kabiyak. As Genesis 2.18 Again, Proverbs 31.28-29 Nagbabangon ang kanyang mga anak at tinatawag siyang mapalag refers to the, to the mother Gayun din ang kanyang asawa pinupuri siya at ang sabi, maraming anak na babae 
ay nagsasagaw may kabaitan, ngunit ikaw ay kanyang, kanyang asawang lalaki, ikaw ay humihigit sa kanilang lahat. Why? Try to make it a point that your kids and your husband will be proud of you. Huwag niyo hayaan na mapulaan ang pangalan na daladala ninyo. The role of husband and wife, hindi masyadong pinip, pina, pinapansin niya marami, but we both should be encourager with each other. So we can all be encourager. That's the one thing that lacks sa maraming relationship. Walang pakailan mga isa't isa. Sa damdamin ng isa't isa, yung isa'y nakasinghal na nakasinghal, isa'y nakapanakit na nakapanakit, nakabuntal na nakabuntal, isa'y nakabunga nga ng bunga nga. Walang iniisip kundi about pangangailangan niya na ibigay mo. They are demanding to one another na dapat kusang ibinibigay at pinagkakalabang respeto at pagpapalaga. The lack of encouragement is almost epidemic. Ika nga. And that's the reason people are lazy going to work every morning. And uh, hindi sila makapagintay layasan ng kanilang pamilya because they cannot find encouragement sa kanilang mahal sa buhay, lalo sa kanyang kabiyak. So what is it that enables us to give our wife or husband crucial encouragement? The thing is grace. It is the lubricant that lessens the friction in married life. Grace is the one, the thing that keeps the gear of relationship running smoothly. Yung biyaya. Hindi bunganga. Hindi buntal. Hindi pananakit. Kundi biyaya ng Diyos. Or the oil of grace. We've seen a lot of, of slow, painful death of married, married life. Punong-puno ng pait at galit sa isa't isa. Mostly it's because encouraging one another went by the wayside. Dati, inaalalaan mo pagka lumalakad, ngayon nakasal na, pababa kayo sa jeep, sasabihin mo, sige, tumulong ka. Dati, naglalakad kayo, ikalalaki, nasa danger side, ngayon, iniiwanan mo na sa palagi. In dating, tingin nyo naman na, na Prince Charming nyo, knight in shining armor, ngayon, kung ano na pinagdadaldal natin sa likod niya, at minsan ginagamit pang Facebook para ilabas ang mga himutok. So sad. We need God's grace. Grace is showing favor to someone even if, if they don't deserve it. So we should, I should ask God's favor for my wife. You should ask favor for your husband. Dahil sa biyaya ng Diyos, we will be able to play our role. And in, and in closing, let me say this. The role of husbands in giving grace He is responsible because he is the spiritual leader ng tahanan. Again, Ephesians chapter 5.25, mga lalaki, ibigin nyo yung asawa, gaya naman yung Kristo, na umibig sa church, ibigay nyo kanyang sarili upang ito yung pakabanalin. So, uh, when you wash your wife with the word of God, hindi siya lulunuri ng mga talata, talata, talata na hindi nakikita sa akin na ipinamumuhay. So dapat matutunan ko rin na yung sinasabi ko sa kita ng Diyos, e eh, ipinamumuhi ko. So pag natutunan, nakita ng ating kabiyak, yung sinasabi natin, ipinamumuhi natin. Hindi lang yung do what I say, not do what I do. Dapat I should walk the talk. As a result, she will be more ready na laging sundin ang sinasabi ng Diyos sa pamamagitan nating mga husband. So try to think of the most uh, top needs ng iyong kabiyak. And strive tayo mga husband. We should learn to strive in the next couple of months. Maabot natin yan to meet that need. To make her happy. Kasabihan nga eh, a happy wife, a happy life. So try to meet that need the soonest possible time. Kasi ho, kailangan natin magkaroon ng harmony sa pamilya. At tayo mga lalaki, 
try to listen. Kung may sinasabi sila ang ating mga anak, ang ating mga kabiyak, let's try to listen sometimes. Dahil, or most of the time, listen to one another. Of course, dahil ang Diyos, walang monopoly ng wisdom sa lalaki lang. Of course, sa babae rin. Learn to listen. Okay? Para hindi siya matuto magbunga nga. Role of the wife in giving grace. Encourage your husband to learn how to be the spiritual leader. Encourage him to lead and be the man of God. Proverbs 31, 10 to 12. Isang mabait na babae, sino makakasumpong sapagat ang kanyang halagay higit kaysa mga ruby. Ang puso ng kanyang asawa ay tumitiwala sa kanya. Is the husband's heart trusting the wife? Siya hindi kukulangin ng pakinabang gumagawa na mabuti siya sa kanyang asawa. Hindi kasamaan lahat ng mga karawan ng kanyang buhay. Wife, are you acting as a wife of noble character? Bringing your husband good and not nagging. Nasa pakikinig ng salta ng Diyos, natatakpan yon ng lakas ng tinig natin sa kanya. God forbid. So God said to you, submit to Him as unto the Lord. So did the, this submission doesn't mean you are a weak person. No. This doesn't mean na aalipin ka niya at didiktahan ka niya at gagawin ka niya katulong to the max. No. Submitting to your husband only means you learn to respect her and you will know when to say something and when not to do so. Submission is yung matutunan natin kung kailan nyo dapat sabihin nyo isang bagay at hindi nyo dapat sabihin nyo isang bagay. And that's respect. Kung baga, submission is yuyukod ka para, ma, para makapagtrabaho Diyos. Para siya kumastigo kung kailangan. So that God would fix your husband. So if we are doing so, God will honor you and God will hear your prayer. So respect your husband even he doesn't deserve it at that first at that time. So ang tanong ko eh, siya naman ba ay nag provide sa family? Siya naman ba ay may panahon sa inyo mga anak? Siya naman ba ay kahit pa paano ay nagmamalasakit sa family? Those are the things that deserve respect mula sa kanyang asawa. So, try to focus positively on the things that he's doing even to verbalize to him your appreciation. And when you affirm him, you uh, appreciate, let him know uh, that you value yung kanyang ginagawa. Ganyan din naman ang lalaki sa inyong kabiyak. Learn to appreciate. So, tayo mga may asawa sa ating tahanan, you play your role. Let's try to maintain respect, love, keep the dignity among the husband and the wife. And always remember to use the oil of grace. Kailangan natin ang Diyos so that we will be able to do our share and let God be the center of our life. So may God help us. And God bless us all and give us peace. You stay safe. Until next time. Salamat po.